How's it going everyone? This is Chris ADF and welcome back to Gears 5. Last time we left off we had a nice recap of Gears 4. We got uh, basically Kate having night terrors of her visions I guess of her blood for with the queen and her connection to the swarm I guess I would say. I'm doing an intro bro. Hold up. But yeah, and also uh, we are back in Azura. The same Azura as in Gears 3. So we're just going to uh, keep going where we left off But let's check around here. Maybe there's some Ooh, what's this? Fallen Azura gear All right, let's take that. I'll Get all the ammo. We're gonna need all this ammo actually Is there anything around here cuz I know there's collectibles and component parts you have to collect But at the same time, I really don't want to like look nitpick through the whole level like this Cuz at the same time, I know you guys probably just want to see the story and progressing as much as I can so I'm just gonna just look around a little bit here and there I won't I won't uh, loot the whole area every crevice but yeah, guys I hope you guys are enjoying the videos uh, please subscribe for future Gears 5 videos and also leave a like and a comment that would mean so much to me also let's see okay we're supposed to go around there let's see what's in here but yeah, I'm trying to throw these videos, the Gears 5 videos, as frequently as possible, especially the campaign for you guys. Uh, ooh, what's this? Chairman's wristwatch. Oh, this is, this is, uh, where Prescott was. That's awesome. So we have, his, he was here, basically. Well, Gears 3, he, I guess the time he disappeared from Gears 2 to 3, he was in Azura with, uh, Marcus Phoenix Far, Far, father sorry uh, he basically kidnapped his father okay let's go down here and I guess that's his uh, wristwatch oh DB, take it out. get wrecked mate oh. oh dang he has the uh he has the what's it called? The saw, the saw one. Damn, I can really use help here, mate. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, at least I have a health bar, cause at least I know how much health they have. To, so it's kind of like a mini boss. So that's how you know when they're a bit more stronger enemies. Okay, a couple more shots. There we go. I forgot, totally forgot what the buzz kill I think it was called. Ooh, the try shot. Okay, so it's basically like the uh Hamverse. I don't want the buzz kill. It's pretty much like the mulcher. Okay, let's get that one. Yeah! Crispy. Okay, is there okay so we there we have to scan that up there anything up here eh. so oh, I'm gonna have to send him through a hole I think let's do this so how the hell can I get up there there's something I'm missing is there oh I see them right there there we go this door is locked. Can we get a scan, please? Hey, oh, there we go. Wait, what? Hey, Can I send? Oh, there we go. I thought I had a point over here. Data, huh? But yeah, I guess you have to you have to point in the way. Well, I mean, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Nice one, Dave. Yeah, at least you could walk a little bit more faster with the um, with the tri shot yeah, and the bigger let's guns. Let's look around. You know what? Good place for secret data. Dave, get this open. Okay, we're gonna have to open that. Crispy. Gotcha. Hey, control. Good news. We found the data drive. Nice. Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo! We found it! 
and they're all over us. Oh dang. We're on our way. Uh, let me look first. UI Hammer of Dawn Blueprints. Oh nice. I remember back in Gears 5, I was really into getting all the collectibles and all that. Cause I re I think it was you got or Gears 3 that you got if you collect all the collectibles, you would get like a certain weapon skin. And I remember beating it uh, the game on insane, and I got the Ghost Protocol s weapon skin, which is was pretty nice. That's what I like about Gears 3 and all those type of games is get the boom shot ammo. Is that every little like thing that you try to complete? Oh, explosive ammo! Every single little thing you try to complete, there's always like a reward to it. Instead of like only oh, shit, like in Gears 4, you only got credits. Oh damn! Let's get the no switch guns, mate. Okay, there we go. Yeah! Come on. Ah, oh, shot over! Yeah, right in the face! But yeah, like in Gears 4, you got uh, like the gold or the credits to buy loot boxes on it. I didn't really enjoy that much because it's like it wasn't very unique like you didn't have to do something specific to get it and that's what I liked about like Gears 3 Gears like was that uh, you had to do stuff to get certain things that, that's what made it fun All right. Control rooms clear. oh nice, nice get that nice to show up oh no problem is that rocket attack it is believe it or not Oh, nice. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch. Alright. Oh, sweet. He's up here. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Error. Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird, options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to on. No. We get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You got to get out of there. Damn it, we came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Well, let's get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override there at the top. Find our way up. Yeah, so James is pretty much getting a a bit too to uptight, man. Oh dang. Oh they're over there. I'm trying to find where they're at. Scan, mate. We gotta get across this gap! Okay, there they are. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's throw a nade. Let's see if we can group them out. I right, know we got some guys right there. Wait, how the hell are we supposed to go across? Hey, follow that platform. Oh, there we go. Oh, dang. Hey, are we timing this area or what? Oh, there he is, right there. Okay, okay, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Let's get this ammo right here. The explosives. Okay, where? Oh, the panel's right there. Oh! How many engines does a rocket have? Usually four! 
Ignition, engine four. Dang. Yo, we're getting toasty. We're gonna get a little bit toasty here, guys. Okay, let's just go around. Yeah, I was like, why don't we just go around? You don't need the whole platform, man. That's just a luxury to have that whole platform. By the way, you could have just jumped. Let's go, let's go. Let's run, Dale, run. Oh! Oh, I was about to knife him right there. I'm bleeding out. Wait, where is he? Coming your way. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, can they revive us? Oh, what? Thank you, little man. Hey, that's awesome. He can revive us. Because it's usually when uh, your other teammate dies, it's basically just death. Oh. Ow, that hurt, that burn. Burn, baby, burn. Oh. Just knife him, just knife him. That's awesome that Dick cares about it, even though he's a robot. That's awesome. Robots have feelings, guys. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Sam, we're ready for extraction. Hey, I would I would trust Marcus a lot more than recklessness because you know he has more experience but at the same time he has that more of a of what's it called like more seasoned mind oh wait chaps gas station from gears one Oh, this is a nice intro to the game like basically like the intro of like getting into the game to like the cutscene of the actual game almost James how about I see Jen first I'll calm the storm before you brief her I'm sorry is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic you can call it what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary risk. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary, and you know it. That's pretty true. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um... 
Yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is... You two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. It cannot find them. Without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. <laughs> oh, so I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah. Uh, What's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? All new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Uh -huh. And... And he's... all yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Damon, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. <laughs> Man, so many memories. The combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? <sighs> Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna take this. Oh, Kilo Squad, man. I never played the DLC, but I seen it. I love that. I wish I could. I uh, would have bought it. A blueprint. What's this? It'll give Jack what I've been calling Flash. It Mark III Lancer. Nice. So this is another attachment to it for Jack. New ability flash. Jack emits a flash that stunts nearby enemies. Equipping an ability. Jack can have one assault and one support ability equipped at a time. Okay, open the Jack menu. Support, pulse, and flash. Let's equip that one. Also, we could upgrade Jack and all that. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Dude, that's awesome. Hold on, let me check this, mate. Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. You're basically making the armor? Okay, do I get a weapon? An ambar. I'll put this to good use. Oh, I love the ambar. Okay, uh. Iris, activate Alpha 331. Certainly, Dave. Okay, so. so you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate it. See what happens. Reload initiated. Let's see. Alright, finish it. Nice. Sequence complete. So basically stuns them to stand up, I guess. Now let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. 
Jack's gotta reroute power between flashes. Once he's recharged, hit him again. Alright. Alright, let's pulse it. And uh I'm not very good with the M bar actually. There we go. Feel free to run it again if you want. I'm good. I got I got the gist. Test sequence complete. No offense, JD, but uh Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you. For both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Dude, is it me or does Baird look like Adam Phoenix? Like he has that that goatee beard. He has the ball head. He kind of like looks like him. A uh, weapons locker. Okay, I have to return it. There we go. Get rid of us. Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can borrow. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. <laughs> Good. Now I can get back to work. What Dana means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. Huh. But let's go. Let's go to where we're supposed to go. Later, Baird. Come on, guys. No worries. Do your thing. Come on. Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. Oh. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? Del, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man. Let's just grab a jack component and get out of here. No, this would be fun. Oh, oh. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Hey, here's the thing, Foss. The bottle's far with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming, but explain. Shit. Your false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. Wow. Oh, Someone has an attitude now, problem. Fun times, okay. Gotta tell you. Go that find that component. Mm. Chef's kiss, buddy. Chef's kiss. Dang. Alright, let's see. We're supposed to go borrow a component in a bit upgrade track. I love that. I like how they have emphasis on borrow. So it's this way? That is not even noon yet. <laughs> ah, there's the component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. Let's see. This one? Alright, let's see what it does. Upgrading Jack, though. You find a component. Jack has an ability for passive. Uh, continue. Wait, so we could upgrade one? A component, health, upgrade, upgrades to Jack's health and his ability to heal others, upgrades Jack's stealth abilities, improve the effectiveness of Jack's zapper, core systems, so I guess it's basically getting heavier things. Uh, let's do the health better. Repair boost, let's do that first. So that's three, five, and seven for the other ones. Say, loving the new 
Jack. Can't wait to test him out in the field. Try to contain your excitement. We still have to go to Jen's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. Report to the first minister's gin office. But well, right, guys, we're going to end it there. Thank you for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the video, please leave a like, please leave a comment. And if you can't, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. I'm a, like I said before, I'm trying to push these videos as fast out as, as fast as I can. Probably a couple of videos per day just to finish the story. And then I'll move on to the multiplayer ones. But see you guys in the next one. Farewell, everyone.